What's cracking, people? This is your man, Cousin T, and welcome to this installment of... I'm trying to give you 60 seconds of affection. 60 seconds of excellence, where doubt and hateration meet observable reality. Now, today's installment is brought to you by the Tito Tabernacle. Feel free to donate to the Hot House Healing Building Fund. The link will be in the description down below. Now, let's get into today's 60 seconds of excellence. Basically, I received a message a while ago regarding the legitimacy of the concept of the select man. And what's interesting is that this question came from someone who I was having a conversation with. And, you know, one of the good things about um, dialoguing with people who don't necessarily share your opinion or your position on something is that over the course of the exchange and hopefully you're exchanging with someone who's intelligent who has been proven to have uh, you know uh, substantiated theories and positionings from where they're coming from but in any case when you're having a conversation with someone um, who has the ability to make you think who has the ability to challenge your beliefs in your concept what that does is add depth and range to your core set of understandings and beliefs and anecdotal information and basically what I like to do here and what I'm going to be doing here with the 60 seconds of excellence is actually providing the evidence uh, that I provide other people outside of this space that support the concept and the reality of the select man. So in today's clip, we're going to take a look at a conversation uh, had by uh, none other than Joe Rogan and comedian Bill Burr. Now, the funny thing and the cool thing about the select manosphere space is that the way that our information is presented, it is based on a select man's perspective. And when you have the experience, when you have the knowledge set, when you have the background, when you have uh, these conversations that we've had with other men, you look at reality differently than other people look at reality. So it's all around us at all times. It's just that the average person doesn't see it the same way that a select man sees it and that's why the select manosphere is so important so here's a conversation that i'm sure a lot of people have seen in this uh this particular clip um but when you look at it through the lens of the select man's perspective it overwhelmingly uh supports the existence of the select man so without further ado here is your 60 seconds of select excellence and this is funny was my buddy was a good looking guy and the the judge was a was a woman and when the guy read that you know locked me up i'm fucked up and he wasn't the brightest guy and he just kind of you know, like ah. they put his head down like that and he was you know little pom puppy fucking looking dude and uh she uh she, she gave him like a lighter sentence and because he was good looking i think so yeah i mean it all plays in that's why ugly people are complaining so much. Like, they, they won't take the time to develop a fucking personality, write some jokes, do what the rest of us have to do. Like, I don't get mad at Brad Pitt. You know, how can he fucking, because he's fucking beautiful. I'm a fucking bald, red-headed male. I know where I am in the pecking order. And some of these fucking people who are complaining right now, who are mad that beautiful people get treated differently. I understand racially speaking, but you're not going to do the beautiful thing. I and mean, then that's another thing they try to say. Well, society tries to, you know, they're the ones that fucking, like, you know, like I love when like there's a supermodel, like this is like an impossible standard of beauty to try and live up to. Yeah. 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 That's why she's on the cover of a magazine. She's that level beautiful. And you're going to try and sit there and tell me that that was learned. Well, here's the thing. That's only women. Because when you see Jason Momoa playing Aquaman, you don't hear men say that's an impossible standard of beauty. Well, I guess we can just say uh, enough said, right? 
And that was your 60 seconds of Cell Excellence. Gentlemen, if you'd like to contribute uh, a link or a video or a post to 60 Seconds of Cell Excellence, please send it to the email address shown in the description. And until next time, as always, this is your man, Cousin T, a.k.a. the Alpha Wingman, saying stay sharp and mission-focused. Later.